very much, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure to uh, wrap this uh, debate up today. And you know, we've heard a lot from the other side, the government side, saying they get it, they understand, they accept that autism doesn't end at five. And they tell us that they feel for these families and these parents. But it's time to put away the speaking notes and it's time to look inside. Because if you can do what you're planning to do, you are relegating the children of these families to a life where they can never reach their full potential. And we, have a, as a society, have a responsibility to give the most vulnerable people an opportunity to do just that. You need to ask yourselves, if you are taking, there's, you have conflicting science on your own side that really questions what you're doing with this funding, questions what you're doing. This is not, I say to the member from Ottawa South, about impugning motives, but it is correct when we say what you're doing is wrong. What you're doing is wrong for these children. It is wrong for these families. You have an opportunity here today. You have an opportunity here today. You brought out your policy. The people have spoken. The people are saying it is wrong. I was there for that demonstration that day, and I was moved by it. I was moved by it because I recognize that these families are facing the greatest struggle that they have faced in their lives or likely will face in their lives, and you are making it more difficult by taking their vulnerable children, taking them off a waiting list, and cutting them off from the very treatment will allow them to reach that potential that we all deserve. Vote for this motion. It is the right thing to do.